down with everybody it's your boy mookie jones for radar sports the base man don't forget we got a great episode for y'all today don't forget to subscribe to us on our playback app we'll be live there every day watching the games or get your free vip pass to watch the game it was live and free right and don't forget this friday we will have our crash out debates we have some great great um contestants competing in there check us out we're live 2 p.m eastern we got a great great you know content for y'all today so make sure y'all stay tuned man i want to talk about lebron james ladies and gentlemen right ever since lebron james decided you know what i'm gonna spew propaganda i'm gonna change the narrative right i'm gonna protect my legacy right while doing this podcast with jj reddick right i knew that lebron james you know what i'm saying wanted to be the center of attention he want to lie he want to revisit history right and lebron james went on jj reddick podcast right and was discussing how the big three was formed and you know what I'm saying, and how, you know, that, uh, you know, how Eric Sposa, you know, play a role in how the Heat was able to overcome adversity the second year and winning the championship. You know, he was talking all of that, man, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, some of the stuff that he was saying, I was like, why would you say that for? You know what I'm saying, like, what is your meaning of saying that, right? And I, and I think that, you know, uh, LeBron James is basically trying to go out there and, and you know, uh, spew propaganda, change the narrative, change the conversation right and um a guy like me i'm not fooled by that right i know what lebron james is trying to do that i know what he's trying to do right so lebron james you know went on jj ready podcast and he was basically trying to make excuses of why the miami heat um you know choked in 2011 against the dallas mavericks lebron james had the worst no show of any player in nba history right um and he made the biggest flat out excuse ever, right? I want y'all to take a listen to what he had to say. Obviously, my, my first year in Miami, yeah, we had a big three. And everyone said it's a super team, super team and super team that. But we had to build our team around all minimum guys, which was still okay. But we didn't fill out the complimentary guys enough. Yeah, we had Rio, we had Udonis, you know, but we didn't we didn't have enough as far as enough complimentary guys to actually make it all work. And we still made it to the finals. Coming in making excuses, man. Bro, LeBron James, you got to understand, man. When you teamed up with D-Wade and Chris Bosh, right? When you teamed up with a guy, D-Wade, who was considered a top three player in the league. When you teamed up with a guy that was a 25-point per game scoring, Chris Bosh was a double-double guy that could space the floor out and that can rebound, right? Um, when that team was so top-heavy, right? And... You then came out on the podium, right, on the um, parade and said, you know, said not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven. You promised the Miami Heat to win that many championships, right? The expectation was to get it done. You make an excuse talking about, oh, we did our, our roster wasn't filled out properly and, you know what I'm saying, we had minimum guys. Well, that happens when you build top-heavy rosters. Right. When you join a super team and, and make a big three, that's what happens. Right. When you have a, a, a D Wade and when you have a Chris Bosh. Right. And when you have, you know, uh, you know, those players as well. Right. Uh, two top 10 players on the team. Right. Two top five players at that on the team. And also, I want to a star player, Chris Bosh as well. Right. You're not going to have that big of a depth. You know what I'm saying? You know, in order for that roster to be filled out. So you making excuses, talking about the reason why we lost because the roster wasn't filled out correctly. Well, you just the same guy that sat there and promised the Miami Heat to win multiple championships, five, four, five championships in the NBA, right? And you still choked. You still couldn't break a basic zone, right? You still was deferring on a JJ Barrera and JJ Terry on you, bro. And you and your individual game and your package was nowhere to be found in the NBA Finals, right? So stop making this excuse. Stop doing this revisionist history board BS. Because even when you look at the KD Golden State Warriors, they couldn't maintain that depth, right? If you look at 2019, the, the role players that they had before, all, all of them was basically gone, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't maintain the, the depth that they had. So this 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 notion that oh oh our, our team wasn't top heavy and, you know, we didn't have, we had a lot of meta vet minimum guys. Bro, LeBron James, at the end of the day, when you have two top five players and when you have a star player in Chris Bosh, 
The expectation was to get it done. The expectation was to win, bro. Right? That was a super team. Right? Two top five players in a prime and a star caliber player in Chris Bosch. The expectation was to get it done. But you have LeBron James who continue to come out there and make excuse, right? What is this podcast for? Is this podcast to do to learn the game of basketball? Is this a podcast to uh the uh, um to inform the guys that are not informed about basketball? What is this podcast for? Is this podcast is to boost your legacy, LeBron? Is this is this the to help your legacy to get further? You know what I'm saying to change the narrative because I'm not buying that, LeBron. I'm not buying it, right? The thing about LeBron James, he was not portable enough as a basketball player. At the end of the day, bro, he didn't have a refined post game, right? At the end of the day, he couldn't shoot outside the goddamn pay outside of three feet. He couldn't shoot. So the thing is, uh, f the flaws that you have as a basketball player and the flaws that you had in your game was exposed in the NBA Finals. Real talk. And then you went against terrible comp uh, terrible competition in going, going into the Finals. In the Eastern Conference, in the weak Eastern Conference as well. So, I don't know what the world he tried to say. I don't know what he tried to do. But at the end of the day, bro, him trying to change the narrative and him trying to change the trajectory of what it was viewed at the time, right? And what was viewed at the time that LeBron James was going to help the Miami Heat to win multiple championships, go three-peat, right? He is the reason why the Miami Heat didn't three-peat. He is the sole reason because he's choked in the NBA Finals. And, you know, he averaged, what, one point per game in the fourth quarters in those finals. He was absolutely terrible, right? And this is the reason why I cannot put LeBron James in the conversation of the GOAT. I can't because you got this guy that comes on these podcasts trying to save his legacy, right? And trying to spew nonsense that, you know, that that wasn't the talking point at the time. The talking point was he has enough to win a championship. The talking point was not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. That was the talking point. The expectation was to win multiple championships. That was the expectation, right? So even LeBron James said in the going into the postseason is a guarantee that he going to the finals and win the championship. They were the overwhelmed favorites to win the championship, and he choked. So the fact that you're trying to change the narrative said, oh, we, we had minimum guys. You know what I'm saying? We had UD and these other guys. Bro, stop it, bro. You had a good enough team to win a championship, and you choked on your food. You had a D-Way adequate enough score, great score, right? Top three player in the league. You had Chris Bosh, great floor spacer um, that could shoot the ball and could rebound a high level, right? You got Mario Chalmers, Mike Bibby, you know what I'm saying? UD, who was a good, solid role player as well, and you choked on your food. I don't want to hear it. LeBron James is trying to change the narrative on that stupid-ass podcast for J.J. Reddick. And I'm not having it, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is your boy, Mookie Jones, and I am out.